Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If it's your first time joining, I am Gatanjali from Queens, New York City. And on this platform, I vlog and blog about my travel experience, either around the world or within the USA. Uh, today is September 26, 2022. And I'm so, so excited. Uh, I am in Copenhagen, Denmark, and this is my 28th country. Wow, so amazing. Um, go Gatanjali. <laughs> Anyhow, so I'm really excited about um, exploring Copenhagen. Uh, I am staying at the Mayfair Hotel. Uh, it's in downtown Copenhagen um, and it's about a 16 minute drive or so from the airport. Um, I actually took a taxi here and I shouldn't have because it was a little pricey. I feel like since I've been here in Copenhagen, which is under an hour, things are pretty expensive because it is an expensive city. Um, they don't have Uber here, but I... Uh, lesson learned um i should have taken the bus or i should have taken a train um there's a central station like a block away from the hotel because this is uh downtown copenhagen so all the 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 restaurants and cafes and everything is here including the train station um so lesson learned maybe this tip could help you um guys and gals whenever you travel to copenhagen um, so there is a direct uh, train that takes you from the airport into downtown Copenhagen. Um, that's cool though. Uh, so yeah, I am so excited about my day one in uh, Copenhagen. It's about 1 p.m. right now in the afternoon. And I'm looking forward to go explore um, a free tour. So when I say free tour, I don't mean like, oh my God, it's a free tour. It's a free tour in the sense of like, you go online and you book like all these, um, you book whatever tour um, fancy your interests. And once you um, complete the tour, then you give the tour guide, um, you know, whatever, I guess, tip you want to give them. Because, uh, yeah, I found out that in Copenhagen, you don't tip people, but the tours are different, right? Um, so, and the reason that they don't tip people here is because, um, the Danish here, is because uh, apparently the government, uh, they, they pay them, like, I guess, good amount of money. Or they're happy with their salary, so um, they don't need tips. So they're, they're living a decent life. And it is an expensive city, so... Go figure, right? Um, yeah, so I'm really excited about uh, doing a historical tour of um, downtown Copenhagen. Uh, so that is very, very um, inspiring to me because history is my thing. Um, so because I'm in the center, um, staying in the center of uh, Copenhagen, um, I definitely want to explore some restaurants later and all that good stuff. So yeah, I will flip the camera around and give you a tour of my hotel. It's very, very, um, well, my hotel room is very, very small, but it's okay because I, I am a solo traveler and, you know, it it's a safe hotel so far that I what I um, have observed and plus the review and... Um, the people are just so nice and plus it's convenient to everything. So yeah, after that, come along and enjoy um, this uh, day one tour with me in Copenhagen. And again, thank you so much for your support um, on this platform. Bye! Man, where would you be? In the water. Check it out. Oh, oh my God! How cool! Hey, hey! So I am walking the street, or should I say the square? And um, oops, in Copenhagen, Denmark. I'm taking a walking tour. Uh, it's pretty chilly. It's about to rain um just learning a lot of history so i'm gonna do my best to capture stuff on video but i'm not sure because it's like so many people around but it's a beautiful city so
So we're walking over to Christian Hang Bridge. So Hang is in, it translates into harbor. Um, so we're going to the Christian Harbor, I'll say um, island to learn more. So I'm walking in the, in the neighborhood of Christian Hound Island and um, this area right here, um, it used to be like swamps and muddy and yeah it was gross but now like look how beautiful the area is and there's this church right behind me. Um, we're waiting for a few minutes before the church bell, bell starts ringing. Uh, Oh, oh, there it is. It's ringing. I don't know if you can hear it. So I'm not sure if you um, guys or gals have visited Amsterdam, but this is uh, how the canal looks like in Amsterdam. It's pretty amazing. So we're just standing here listening to the church bell. And that's the church right behind me. Honestly, like Christian Hang or Christian Harbor is a very um, authentic and cool place to visit. And uh, if you're in Copenhagen, it's about like a 20 minute walk from downtown Copenhagen. So worth it. So I made it into Christiana Harbor and they said that you cannot take like videos of the people. Apparently it's supposed to be like a, I don't want to say not welcoming neighborhood, but um, they don't want folks to take pictures of the logos and stuff like that. So there's a concert going on, but I can take a video of the concert. Yeah, and obviously it's raining.
Wow, look at the artwork. There's no one around, so I could take a video. So fascinating. I Like I said, I would highly recommend if you tour this area. It's very different from the rest of Copenhagen. Um, definitely come in with uh, a group of people. tower in Copenhagen and you get like an awesome view the 65 Danish crumbs to get up it's so windy though yeah thanks anyway yeah no worries so we climb to the top of the tower savior check the view out it's so gorgeous Copenhagen is beautiful it gets really It got so windy up there, oh my it's gosh. It's a shame you didn't do the bells from there, right? Yeah. So windy. Oh my god, too windy. Hey, hey, so I am at Night Haven. These are where all the colorful houses are, restaurants. Those are the two people from my group. Um, and just walking around, taking pictures. So beautiful. I am standing where the queen lives in Copenhagen, Denmark. This is the Grand Palace. The guards are right behind me. It's interesting though that this place don't have like any fences. And then there's a big church in the back. Wow, so much history here. Unfortunately, I cannot go to the church because it's closed. Um, highly recommend like checking it out on my way um, to go see the Little Mermaid, but yeah. I made it to see the Little Mermaid and she's right behind me. The Little Mermaid say hello YouTube family. I really hope you enjoy my day one vlog in Copenhagen, Denmark. Um, what an awesome day. Uh, too bad it was cold, but all good. I had my windbreaker, so that windbreaker actually helped me um, protect the breeze from entering into my body and make me freeze. Um, and I had a scarf as well. So anyhow, I did a detour 
in this uh, neighborhood called Christiania. So Christiania is a neighborhood in Copenhagen, but check this out, this neighborhood is independent um, of the Danish government's rules and regulation. Uh, there's about 900 people that lives in this neighborhood, Christiania, and um, it's sort of like a hippie neighborhood. Um, they have their own rules and regulation. Um, they kind of like, it's like a free, um, kind of like a free city. Um, they uh, just don't care what the Danish government does or do. Um, it, it's a very like hip um, community. It reminds me of uh, the folks in the village in the New York, in New York City, but not as hip. Um, uh, most likely, I would say, um, if you have visited uh, Denver, Colorado, you would see a lot of the folks that's in Denver, Colorado are kind of like similar to the the folks in Christiani, Christiania. Um, sorry, there's a lot to do here. Um, there's a street called Pusher. Pusher. Um, there's a street called Pusher, and Pusher is where um, it's all um, street art. And there's like a lot of stuff that's happening in the neighborhood that they recommend that you don't take videos um, of the people and the things that's going on. Um, but uh, if you ask permission, so I did ask permission um, to take videos. Um, there was a concert going on, so they uh, the the folks there, the uh, the vendors um, that were selling um, drinks and food. Uh, he said, "Yeah, go ahead and take the the, the video." So that was cool. Um, there's a lot of like I said, street art, a lot of creative vendors, um, and there's a lot of other stuff happening. But who am I to judge? Um, Everyone in the area seems pretty nice. And like I said, uh, the folks there are very, very, um, the way they carry themselves and the, the way they engage with each other, um, they're very, very different from um, the, the the other Danish uh, folks in, in, in the city of Copenhagen. Uh, considering I'm only here for like a day, right, so far, um, I highly recommend going into that um, neighborhood, Christiania. But I would recommend you do a day tour. You could do the free tour. Um, just Google free tours of Christiana, Christiania um, Harbor. or um, And you could actually go there. And it, it's a nice walk um, to get into the, the neighborhood. Um, I would recommend that you actually go to like say you don't want to do the free tour but you could go with like a group um it is good that when you go with a group of, of people so you could walk into the residential area and also where the vendors are and the street art and all that good stuff but i feel like once you go with a group of people it's it's actually better you know and safer um also they have their own currency there in case you want to like buy drinks or food or like oh my god like the art scene is amazing that's all i could say guys like that saying goes what happens in christiania stays in christiania um so that was amazing i met a, a group of people um from finland um from poland uh from london from australia um so so cool and like all these individuals have visited new york city or wants to visit new york city um so it's really cool that we are able to stay in contact through youtube and instagram um to name two of the social medias um overall copenhagen is so beautiful um i was able to see some of the um the historical area like the night night haven so night haven is where all the colorful houses are um and you probably seen all the colorful houses on uh the postcards oh my god copenhagen is lovely um and there's a canal there there's lots and lots and lots of restaurants and pastry stores and oh my god wine and cafes and music and happy people danish the Danish people are so happy and always smiling. Oh, and there's a bike. There's tons and tons and tons of bicycle lanes. Be careful before you get run over. That's how the Danish, um, they actually get around. Uh, they leverage bicycles. Um, reminds me of Amsterdam in Europe. Um, also want to point out that uh, the, the canals, 
here um the canals are um they were built by the dutch so if you ever visit amsterdam like in the heart of amsterdam like a block away from the heineken factory in amsterdam like you'll see the canals there and the canals in amsterdam looks just like the canals here in um night haven and uh that bridge that takes you over to the christiania christiania uh amazing um, also next to the Christiania neighborhood is this uh, this church and it's called Our Savior and it's a great place um, to go. I think you pay, actually I paid around 65 uh, uh, Danish chromes um, and I was able to climb up the spiral staircase like it gets like uh, it gets windy uh, as you get to the top because I'm here I visited visited in September um, but just be careful and like i said go with a group and like don't be climbing and take selfies like wait until like you're at a stop and then take selfies but it's very safe um and then like what you could do is like you could step to the side and let other people's people climb so you could take a break um uh, once you go get up to the top um you get this incredible view of copenhagen beautiful view highly recommend doing it um i didn't get to scope out the church because it closed at 3 p.m and then after that we walked to see the little mermaid so if you saw the little mermaid movie um the the person um i can't say his name but um uh the the little mermaid statue is actually here um and it, it's a quite of a bit of a walk from downtown copenhagen but like i said if you go with a group of people it, it's amazing or just like um ride a bike rent a bike and ride it um and it, it's just so beautiful uh Go when it's um, bright out because when you, it gets a little dark, then you don't get like beautiful pictures. Um, and so that was like a few things that I did. Uh, I was so hungry and, and the group I was in, like we were just starving. So we ended up going to this Indian restaurant. Um, imagine having Indian food in Denmark where, where I'm supposed to have like a authentic Danish like, uh, you know, um, dinner. But we had... Um, uh, Indian food. Um, it seems like there's a lot of like Indian restaurants here. Um, I saw a lot of Indians here. Um, and it's interesting that when I travel outside of the USA, a lot of people think I'm Indian, uh, which is um, I feel honored. Remember, I'm from Guyana, South America, but my ancestors were from India, so I feel so honored. But overall, I love, love, love Copenhagen, um, Denmark. I really hope you enjoy my vlog. Um, um, I'm so excited to do a lot of more local stuff. Um, probably not in my day two, but my day three vlog. Um, definitely want to try out like um, the Danish um, for breakfast and also um, the hot dogs and go to some of the bookstores. And yeah, but it's a beautiful city. Oh, I wanted to mention, oh my God, taking a taxi around here in, in the city is so expensive. And as mentioned earlier, they don't have Uber, so they have an. However, they have an excellent train station, um, so definitely leverage that. I want to do that more tomorrow. But um, hey, thank you again. I really hope you enjoy my day one vlog in Copenhagen, um, Denmark. And um, if my traveling style is your thing, please subscribe and talk to you later. Bye.